three signs that God is working in your life. The second one, wait till the end, it's the best one. Three things. Stay with me. The last one, which is number two, is the best one. Number one, you're struggling. The truth is, God not only leads you to greener pastures, the Spirit of God led you to the desert in order for you to fast for Him and get closer to the Father. And maybe the desert struggle you're facing is the path to a closer relationship with God. God will often put you in an uncomfortable situation because He knows others would change their mind, but you never will. I'm currently in an uncomfortable situation of being with God. And you know what? It's turning out good. It will for you. So remember, if you're struggling, that's when God is working for you, not against you. Keep that in mind. Number three. Remember, I said number two is the best one. Number three. Life doesn't feel the same. This is true, too. It changes. Wait till I read this to you. It changes. My life is changing for my wife, my family, our kids, everything. Work, it's all good. Trust me. When, you're in, when your interests begin to change and your life doesn't really give you life anymore, this is a sign that God is working to take time into a new season. Your seasons are changing. God is changing your seasons. I promise you. Listen, he's changing your seasons. Before God moves you to a new season, he will first change your heart about the current one. So you'll, you'll see a slight difference and the energy will, will motivate you. You'll, I promise you, this is exactly what I'm going through right now. It is so true. Ladies and gentlemen, it is so true for you especially. Listen, <clears throat> He will first change your heart about the current one. Remember that. This will lead you to a place of unrest, of consulting God, because you don't understand what's happening. We don't need to understand. Not just with this, but we don't need to understand. Follow in God's word and where he leads you, and trust me, you're going to be okay. I promise you're going to be okay. For he is working with you and on you not just with you, but on you, changing your attitude, your personality, your motivation, your energy levels. It's all going to change. Trust me. Remember, three signs. It, it's, it's working. It's going to work for you. We're going to go to the conclusion because, again, number two, number two, I, I, I'm telling you guys, God is working on us 24-7, 365. He never stops. Not even for you. He never stops. In fact, he even works on eternity, and the work will continue. There will be no relationship with God the Creator if it wasn't for the struggles, if it wasn't for being in the wrong, the right spot at the right time. You might not feel you are. You are. I'm telling you right now, you are in the right spot. Don't give up. If you need encouragement, send me a message in the comments. I'll give you prayer, ask for what you want, I'll send it to you. We'll get you through this. I promise you we will get you through this. While we live on this fallen world, the work will be painful because we carry the scars of the fallen creation. People that have fallen and given up are on the weight of your shoulders. Don't give up. He's right here with you, I promise you. He's right here with you. He's going to be with you along the way. He gives his toughest battles to his biggest warriors. And you, you are his biggest warrior. I promise you, you are. You're doing great. Don't give up. Don't give up. Nevertheless, I truly believe that the sufferings of the present life are not worth to be compared with the glory that is about to be revealed. The sufferings of what you've gone through before are about to be diminished by the glory of what's to be revealed to you. Don't give up, like I said before. Motivation, encouragement. Check out my other prayers. I have a prayer, a prayer channel or a, a prayer area, and then I have the morning blessing. Check those out. Romans 8.18 Take heart, 
be brave and rejoice. Rejoice, oh my gosh, rejoice in the Lord that a being magnificent life, God cares to even work on a broken clay like us. He doesn't see you as broken. He doesn't see me as broken. I felt it. I'm changing. I'm helping my family change. I want to help you change. I want to help you change. Again, go back and leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to talk about here. I'll listen. Send me a comment. We'll do it. I'll help you through whatever you need. I got prayers. Trust me. Number two. I, I told you, number two. You're so lost. You're so lost. This was me. I was lost. I was. All winter long, I was lost. The sun is shining. The breeze is out. It's time. You won't be lost anymore. It's exactly when God feels the most away. This is so true, you guys. If you're, if you're still listening, this is so true. When he feels so far away, he's right, right next to you. Right next to you. That is when he is the closest. It is exactly when your eyes can't see the road ahead that creates opportunity for him to get a hold of your hand and guide you through this. Just when you think you'll get you at the bottom, he's going to grab your hand and take it and lead you to cleaner waters. I promise you. I promise he's going to be here for you. Don't give up. Don't give up. God will allow you to walk your own path your own path that he's going to lay out personally for you, you're going to walk that with him. He's going to be there for you. He's already made sure it's fine. It's clear, clear waters ahead of you. By you understanding, not believing, he enjoys it. But because we often only lean, we often only learn by experience. We have to learn by experience. We make mistakes. We learn from them. We don't follow the Lord. We learn from it. We decide to follow the Lord, blessed lives ahead. I'm telling you, clear path. Take off your shoes and socks, walk down barefoot through the glass. You will be okay. I promise you that. You will be okay. This place you're in now, this hopeless and lost location, is the perfect spot to rely on the Lord. If you're lost, you're broken, you're struggling, the perfect spot. Lean on the Lord. Lean on me. Give me that. Give me that. I'll help you find it. I'll bring it right back to you. I promise you that. I'll bring it right back to you. The shepherd that will guide you home. The Lord's going to guide us home. The Lord is going to guide us home. I promise you. Stay with it. Stay strong. Let me take your hand for you. Lord blessing to who sees this video on the other side, my friend. I take you. I lead you to the Lord himself. Please take this person. Rejoice in them. Give them strength. Give them empowerment. Give them motivation to wake up tomorrow. And have a great day. I ask that you just take care of this person, making sure that, that, that they are okay and life is going to be okay, that their reward is coming. God has got them covered. And for please take them and be with them. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And remember, it's a great day to have a great day. I love you guys.